come outside my phones have been stolen um, that's the SMS I received yesterday that starts with me out of the redeemed Christian Church of God Jesus house on the Bar Road yesterday I'm doing this video to share with you one of the latest tricks that is being used by criminals to steal phones and to also discuss with you some of the lessons that we could learn from that very sad incident that occurred yesterday 19th of may 2019 in port harcourt this is no hoax so it's all the best you pay attention to what i have to say and then share it you don't know who you might be saving it might be yourself it might be a family or a friend so yesterday i and a friend decided that we were going to go to redeem christian church of god um, jesus house because we've not been there before wanted to see how the service is and um, i happened to be there before her i sent an sms saying hey i'm on the third row right the phone of course was on um, silent and then i've been waiting I've been waiting and it was already past the time that she ought to come then I got a call of course I didn't pick I didn't pick then I saw an SMS and uh, SMS said come outside my phones have been stolen so when I got that message, I, I dashed outside and I saw her crying. She had used the phone of the security guy at the gates of the church to send me the SMS. And I asked what happened. I just said she boarded a taxi from Water Lines. And when she boarded the taxi, she was sitting in front with another guy. Then the driver told her that the door was not properly closed. So she was trying to close the door. And then the person that was sitting with her in front said, hey, his hands are stuck with the door. Now she was trying to open the door again to let the person remove uh, his hands so she could close the door properly. And then by the time they got to presidential, the guy has been complaining all along that he just went for an operation, he's having pains. So he and the driver now said, ah, the front is too tight for the both of them to manage, that um, she should please not get offended, she should please um, alight so that the man wants to pay for two, the man wants to pay for two seats. So, no problem, she alighted, she didn't suspect any foul play. At the back, there were two young ladies and a guy. Okay, so you had ladies in the vehicle as well. She didn't suspect anything, she came down. But at the next um, vehicle that took her to the redeemed Christian Church of God, the Jesus house. And when she was about to pay, that's when she noticed that where she kept money in the bag was not there again then she checked the phone was not there the second phone was not there again the techno camon was not there the other techno l series was not there so they took both phones they took money and they left her stranded um someone at the back had to pay for her a good samaritan it's a very painful um incident but I want us to learn from this. So if you bought a vehicle and then you have such an experience, maybe you try to close, they, they tell you the door is not properly closed and you, you try to close it, maybe for the very first time, and they say anything again, tell the driver, come down and close your door. All right, it's your vehicle you know how to manage it calm down and 
ensure you hold your bag very very tight you look at it okay if they should ask you to come down check your bag before you come down because obviously that is the latest trend that's the latest tactic that they're using now to rough people i'm very happy that um she was in hand the there was no bodily injury to her but then you know it's painful the other thing is seeing a lady or an elderly man or woman even a woman carrying a baby in a vehicle doesn't mean that that vehicle is safe right while we pray for god's guidance and god's protection and everything we do we also need to be very, very much vigilant. We have to be as careful as possible. Just like the Bible says, be wise as serpents, yet innocent as a dove. The other thing is, you're in church, you don't need to switch your phone off. Yes, don't put it on vibration, so it doesn't do boom and disturb everybody, but put it on, do not disturb. So at least you see calls coming in, you see SMS coming in, because it just might be an emergency. And then for these kind of things, phone theft, there's something else that we really need to look into. I was surprised the day I took one of my phones to slots. I wanted to do a phone swap. I went there with the package, I went with the receipt, I went with everything. And the attendant was like, no, they don't need the receipt and all that. What they need is the phone. And this is one of the reasons why, this is one of the reasons why these people are able to, to steal phones. Because they could steal a phone and go do a swap. They could steal a phone and go sell on the, the useful market. The government should make it compulsory. The regulatory agency should make it compulsory that if you want to swap a phone or you want to sell a phone, there must be a receipt that authenticates you as the original owner of the phone, the person that purchased the phone. Of course, I know that these guys will always have a way around it. They will always um, find a way around it. But then let let it be that they have to take an extra step all right let it be that it's not just easy peasy you just steal the phone and you just go sell it there should be a proof that you are the original owner of that phone and for those of you engaged in this act karma is a bitch i mean yeah it really is it could come in several other ways. It might not be someone else stealing your phone. It might be something very grave. Imagine the wickedness. You took the first phone, you took the second phone, and you had the ghost to also take money. So what if this young lady was involved in, I mean, what if she was going on a long trip? What would have happened? She'll be stranded. It's terrible. You have to repent. Or you pay the consequences you pay for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction you suffer for it that is if you don't repent and genuinely you have to you see i keep asking this question if everybody decides to resort to crime then who are we gonna rob because everybody could do it, but it, it's not worth it. I'm going to drop a link below this um, video. It's called um, How to Turn Yourself into a Life-Breathing Cash Machine. It's a book by Mr. Twain Omotosho, one of the highly respected um, internet marketers in Nigeria. And he discusses how to turn yourself into a life-breathing cash machine. It's a good book you should have and go ahead pick a copy a live written cash machine is defined as someone that's able to make money at will all right go get the book the link is in the description 
share this video so that people get to know what's happening. Until we come your way again next time, this has been Tom. Do want to subscribe to the channel because we're bringing more videos, more helpful content your way. Thank you so much for watching. Do have yourself a very nice day. Bye.